Welcome and welcome back everyone. It's Annie. Yes, I'm okay and I hope you are too. Today I'm going to be showing you this beautiful synthetic wig and also the wig fix, which is a way to lay your wig down. Yo. I have... Okay, so starting off with the wig, the wig name is the Bobby Boss um, Boss Lace in the style MLF475, and her name is Zula. She's in the color 4, and she does have a closure um, free part that I can part anywhere I want. And it's really nice. She has a band, and then, of course, she does have some combs in her. So next I'm getting the wig fix. I did get this in the color medium. I'm just putting it on my head and it's very stretchy. However, it feels really secure when it's just on your head. I guess it's the material that it's made with, but it never felt like it was gonna slide off or back. So that was really nice. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put the wig on with the wig fix. I did cut the lace already. Um, so we're just gonna try this on. I think at first the wig fix was too far back, which you'll see in this clip, um, but in the next clips I did fix it. And it's a little further up on my head. You want it as close to your uh, forehead as possible so that the wig will lay and you won't be able to see your hair unless that's the look that you're going for. Yeah, I'm just placing it on. It did feel snug. Um, I think that also what helped this wig was the band. It just helped it um, be really secure. But overall, I think the wig fix did help a lot. I was able to work out in this wig and it didn't feel like it was sliding back, which is a first. And um, yeah, I would definitely use this product again. And now I'm just going to do a little test, shake the hair, see if it's falling or whatever. It stayed on my head. As you can see, the flaps um, were coming up. So you will have to be mindful of that, that you'll still probably have to gel your flaps down. Um, but other than that, the hair didn't slide or anything. So now I'm just going to fix the lace um, with this Bobbi Boss wig. The lace was extremely light, which I did not like. I've heard other people talk about it in their videos saying that, um, this is always like from like this collection or whatever. So hopefully in the future they fix it and do it more um, people of color friendly. But I'm just going in putting some, uh, I think I use foundation at first um, for the top of the lace. Then I use concealer and I also did have foundation on the inside of the cap, but I just did that beforehand. Um, I'm not sure if I gelled it down this day or not, but I think... Um, for the most part, I didn't really have to gel her down. If I did, it was just the sides, um, but the front was really good at staying in place, and I think that it looked fairly natural. Okay, so now I'm going in and parting it. I decided to do a middle part because I just, I love me some middle parts. Um, so with the middle parts, I was actually very surprised on how easily this parted and how nice it looked. Um, again, I did have to put concealer and foundation on the part because it was really light, but you can obviously like, you can see the lace, the scalp, whatever you want to call it, um, and it looks really good. Um, also, it was kind of fluffy at the top, but I think with this hairstyle that I was kind of like the curls, the way the curls were, it kind of looked nice. So I didn't end up um, using like a hot comb to lay it down or anything because I kind of wanted to go for that poofy um, look.
And lastly, I'm just going through and cutting the hair. I think I cut about an inch or two off, not too much. I just wanted it to be um, a tiny bit shorter. I think I cut it to about boob length or right above boob length. And I feel like it makes the curls um, look a lot better. Yeah.